Hello friends. Have you ever noticed when you're sitting down with a meal with someone and the first thing that they do is they grab a salt shaker and they start to salt everything on their plate. Now, salt doesn't take particularly good all by itself, but it's best when it is used to season other foods. And if you're like me, you might think that the primary use for salt is seasoning of food, but that's not the only way that it's used. According to those who have more time on their hands than I do, we're going to call them salt experts. According to the salt experts, food preparation and the seasoning of food accounts for only 6% of all salt usage. They say salt can be used for over 14,000 other different purposes, and they sort them out into five major categories. There is water conditioning, a food grade salt, agriculture, a highway de-icing, and, and industrial chemicals as well. Salt can be used in the making of products such as uh, plastic and paper plates and polyester and rubber and, and fertilizers. It's used in household bleach and soaps and detergents and dyes. I read recently of another use for salt. In the country of Jordan, which borders Israel over in the Middle East, salt is sometimes used to help speed up the cooking process. In the rural areas of Jordan, Jordanians will put salt on a fire to increase the temperature of the rocks so that the bread will cook faster. Now, when the salt that they use for that purpose is no longer effective, no longer useful, it's just taken away and it's tossed down onto the ground. Does that sound at all familiar? Here's what Jesus said in Matthew 5 and verse 13. He said, You are the salt of the earth, but if the salt loses its saltiness, how can it be made salty again? It's no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. Jesus said that we are the salt of the earth. And what I really like is that this metaphor allows a lot of space for all different kinds of uses and functions for salt. Some salt is, is used as seasoning, some as a preservative. It can be used to melt ice or, or make water that's suitable for drinking. And as followers of Jesus, we, we can be used in the same way. We don't all look alike, nor do we have the same skills or talents or abilities. We have our own ministries. We have things that we do well, just like salt. So what do you say we be a little salty in the coming days? Let's be the salt of the earth. Let's be the person that Jesus wants us to be, bringing hope and encouragement to other people and bringing glory to God. Would you please pray with me? Lord Jesus, keep us from getting in the way of the blessings that you have for others. Instead, help us to soften and melt people's hearts with your love. Help us to season people's lives with your grace. Help us to lead people to confession and repentance by your cleansing power. Through our example, may the passion of other people's lives burn even hotter for you. And may you be glorified as you use us to bring these things about. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. I'll see you again tomorrow.